Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with one personal break tonight and do have a mix of a couple different Y Shorts products for Janet H from Arizona. So thank you so much, Janet, for letting me open up some more Ys for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some more awesome cards to add to your collection. Now, recently, Janet's had me open up some Kaguya-sama Love is War, some of these Slime Volume 1 reprint boxes, now getting into a Ruby Supply set and an extra booster box of Data Bullets. So six packs in the extra booster. I believe there are five packs in the... The supply set here, it's been a little while. Yep, five packs, a deck box, a pack of sleeves, and a really cool paper divider at the bottom. So I'm excited to see what we'll be finding here today. Did actually check out several of these extra booster boxes over the weekend, hunting for that very expensive Zafkil Kurumi SP. Didn't happen to find any, so excited to see if we can work some magic here today for Janet. But let's go ahead and get started. I think we'll actually get into the Ruby first. So let's go ahead and, yeah, I think I have everything, sleeves, top loaders, we're ready to go. Let's get started here for Janet's. Bye. Snapping us into the corner and let's get started. Like I said, we're going to be starting off here with the Ruby supply set. So let me go ahead and crack this on open. The English additional original releases for Y. So the English exclusive sets, no Japanese printing. So things like the Seven Deadly Sin sets, Ruby, Mob Psycho 100, the original Card Captor Soccer Clear card. Now there was a Japanese set afterwards, although they are different which means I had to get both sets completely. That was, that was, a, that was, that was a lot. Don't have that world's promo, and sometimes I like to pretend it doesn't exist because I never will. But the English edition original sets, what I was trying to say, are these sets that do have this supply set creation. So the exclusive pack of sleeves, the deck box, this little divider at the bottom. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it out for Janet or not, or to let Janet cut it herself, just because... Uh, I'm not the greatest at cutting things out evenly, so I think I'll just include that in the package as is for you. But those do come with the supply sets. None of the other releases have supply sets, although Bushiro does tend to make their own sleeves and other supplies over in Japan. So there usually are like Hololive themed sleeves and other series that come out, but aren't readily available here in the United States. So they do exist, just have to... Uh, Mainly pre-order them online or the Bushi Road online store. Sometimes you can catch them early enough uh, to get them. They do sell out, however, very quickly. Oh, yes. And the supply set also comes with one of four different promos. I almost forgot. So we did have Yang Team Ruby here. So we did get this alt art promo here for Yang. So the booster boxes do have one of the four girls, Ruby, you know, one of the four of them in the boxes. So we did have that different version here in foil. So that's cool. All right, and I did show off the sleeves, although pretty quickly. I love these. This is such a cute image. And then here's our deck box. Let's take a look at all the different sides. Sometimes there's a secret image on the bottom, like the, the pig from Seven Deadly Sins. He's on the bottom hiding. Oops. But... I do, I do like the supply sets. They're a lot of fun and they're really good. Just if you're not, if you're not crazy about Weiss, but you're like, oh, I like Ruby. I, I enjoy that. Let me see what these cards are about. It's a nice little sample size. You get your, your fancy items to store your cards. And then also, like I said, five booster packs. And then of course, once you try Weiss, you can't escape. So then you're going to end up collecting Weiss anyways. It's a good intro to the game. But let's go ahead and get started here. Pack number one. And Janet does want me to keep a pack, an empty pack wrapper for her collection. So that one didn't open super nicely, but I'll save them and pick out the best ones. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I said that about two minutes ago when we snapped into the corner, but now we're actually actually doing things. Yang, Vital Festival, rare. That one is not as good as pack number one, so that one's getting yeeted. Do have Nora Valkyrie, double R. All right, so we do have a double R here. Pack three. Man, this pack didn't open well either. Usually the packs open up a bit more clean. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm just struggling here, or the packs are just more, more eager to be ripped. Not sure what. So we have Raven, rare. Activist Childhood was one of my preview cards. Pretty clean. I'll set that one off to the side. Do have Cinder, Infiltrating Beacon Academy. Rare. Alright, final pack. 
Let's see if you can be the cleanest. That is going to be a no. I think the pack prior was the cleanest opened. Let's see. Do we have any foils here? We have pulled some foils on occasion. Looks like not this time, though. We do have Winter Schnee for our last rare. So did get a double R. No SRs, no triple Rs, no SPs, no, no Ruby rares or anything like that. We did have that Nora double R. But let's take a look at our rares because why not? So we had Yang, Raven, Cinder, and Winter. My personal preference showing here, but I'm happy that we did find an activist childhood. It just, like I said, that was one of my previews. That was such an awesome experience looking at some of these Ruby cards for the first time here on the channel. Loved it. Hopefully Bushy Road. Hopefully Bushy Road will allow me to do that again at some point in the future. Let me go ahead and set our pack over here. Eh, for the recap, let's take a look at that promo again. Yang Team Ruby. Love her color scheme. All right, let's go ahead and move along into this Data Bullets Extra Booster Box. So it is a booster box, but the extra boosters are smaller and much cheaper than a regular booster box. Six packs inside, lots of foils within. So curious to see if we can find an SP, maybe an Uber Frame Rare. I remember when Data Bullet first came out, we did open a bit from the case, and I remember we found some Uber Frame Rares. I don't remember what else we found though. It's been quite some time since this product initially released. But excited to see what we'll be finding here for Janet. So here we go. Pack number one. And I'll be picking out the best pack for Janet's pack collection. I used to save the empty Pokemon wrappers from when I'd open packs. And then one day I was just like, why do I have these? And I threw them all away. And now I regret it because actually some of my like heart gold, soul silver triumphant and platinum Arceus and yeah, extra dragon frontiers, just the empty pack wrappers are expensive. And it's like, I just got rid of them. Cause I was like, why do I have this? What am I ever going to do with it? But I still liked them. I was just like, I need to let go. And then regret, regret. Spirit and white queen double R. We have released chains, foil and battle stands sung. Just cute. I like this character. I don't know anything about Data Bullets. I know a little bit about Data Live. Kurumi's in here as well. So I know they're connected, but I don't know anything about these other characters. Like Queen appears to be the main antagonist versus Kurumi. That's just what the knowledge I've absorbed through the cards. But the character designs, especially for Data Bullets, are adorable. They are adorable. You know, they're doing construction next door when I first came to work this morning, and then they stopped, and then I started recording, and then they started doing it again. So if you guys hear weird thumps in the background, I do apologize. Original appearance, Beaky, rare. We have rare foil, sinking white shadow, queen. And then Zafkiel, common foil. Ooh, that was a pretty clean pack opening. Do you have classing emo clashing emotions that is rare interesting to see rare climaxes and then double r foil girl entwined with nightmares kurumi love that card that is of course the box and pack art in recollections isami common foil you have zafkil kurumi double r Repelling Bullets, Queen, and In Recollections, Ibiki. Confrontation of Black and White, Rare. Difference in Status, Kunumi, Rare Foil. And In Recollections, Yui. Alright, final pack here for Janet. Let's see... We have any crazy last pack magic to a predetermined conclusion, Queen and Aleph Kunumi Fatal Move Queen Foils. All right, no SP or anything like that here. Let me pick out real quick. Uh, I think this one's a little bit better, so I'll set that one off to the side. All right, we did have two rare foils and one double R foil. My favorite art actually from the set is this card here, Girl Entwined with Nightmares Kurumi. So we did find the double R foil. Fall in love with that person. Flavor text. I like reading the flavor text out of context. I don't know. I give them voices too. Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> we did have two rare foils. Sinking White Shadow Queen. Difference in status. Kurumi. Also, I'm assuming 
Data Bullets is more of a newer anime series as opposed to Data Live, just because the art style looks more modern. The the sh the faces in particular are more rounded and soft than the uh, I don't want to say angular faces of Data Live, but Data Live does have a very 2010-ish look to it. I don't know when it came out, but it reminds me of anime. Just the style of animation from when I first got into anime, which was late elementary school. So that just that's what it reminds me of. Whereas this to me looks more like series that I've seen in recent years. So I'm assuming it's newer. Copyright date says 2020, so that does make sense. That means I should check out some data live cards and see what the date on those are. But we did have two double R's in this box, Spirit and White Queen, and then Zaf Gilkunumi. So we did find her, just not that super fancy version. And then four rares, of course, two double R's. The other packs all had rares. Original appearance to Beaky. Not used to seeing rare climaxes, but we do have some here. Clashing emotions and confrontation of black and white. And then predetermined conclusion queen. With that, that does wrap off the extra booster. That actually wraps off both openings here for Janet. So a nice little Weiss mix here. Quick opening since it wasn't too many packs. But definitely a lot of fun. So thank you so much, Janet, for letting me open these boxes on up for you. Well, box and supply sets. I hope that you enjoyed both openings and love these new additions to your collection. I was really hoping to find like an SP or something here for you. Not the greatest odds on the supply sets, although we have found SRs out of supply sets before. So that's pretty neat. But didn't have that here. But we did find some really beautiful cards. So I hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. Curious when we're going to get the reveal for the next English original supplies. I believe Attack on Titan, the final season, is coming to English edition first. I think we did pre-order some supply sets, so that'll be interesting. Usually, it comes out in Japan first, not the other way around, but so that should be here in August. I think late August. Where's it September? Let me actually just, let me just look and check. The video's not too long. We can stretch it out a bit. And then the next seven Deadly Sin sets, which I'm assuming is going to be like December. It has been announced. It hasn't been put up for pre-order yet. Uh, that should be English Edition Original sequel to that seven Deadly Sin set from last year. Yeah, but Attack on Titan Final Season Supply Sets, 826 is the scheduled dates. This year, Bushiroad's been having delays with, I would say, most of their releases by just, just like a week or two, though. Nothing crazy like Upper Decks, just like eight months late, just just like a week or two, but it is scheduled for the end of August. So I'd expect by mid-September we should have that. So we'll be checking out some supply sets when that comes in. Otherwise, I think that is the, the next product to have a supply set until we hear more about the, the next Seven Deadly Sins release. But with that, anyways, I think that actually does wrap things on off here. And then like, like I said, Janet, I'll leave this uncut for you so that way you can do it yourself just because I'm not, I don't, I'm not the greatest at using scissors. You think I would have learned this school and um, the skill in elementary school, but I put all my, my personality points into charm versus scissors usage. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that trade-off worked out or not. <laughs> Ah, but that does do it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Janet, of course, I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you guys have any comments from me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get out of here for the evening, just the one video tonight, do you have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 13 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Fails Tales, Gabriel Iodaro, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clodius, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have eight Gemmint fans. Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Genef Zen, Touchdown on Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. Now, thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. Like I said, just the one video here tonight. Glad that actually we did have an order come through. Otherwise, it would have just been like two packs of Dragon Ball Super I have lying around that I picked up from Target. That would have been fun, but not very interesting. So far, tomorrow is just the mail special on the schedule. So maybe I'll, I'll open up those packs tomorrow. We'll see. Just because, of course, with Monday being a federal holiday, nothing's arriving tomorrow. Everything's coming on Thursday, which I don't even know... What's coming? Ah, the uh, the stuff for pre-release weekends, the Commander Legends 
Magic the Gathering, Commander Legends, Dungeons and Dragons, Battle for Baldur's Gate, because we needed that length of a title. Uh, so maybe I'll be able to check out some of that on Friday. We're only getting one box of Prism Football, so I'm not going to be opening it, so unfortunately. WWE Revolution's on the schedule for Friday, but our rep doesn't know that it's coming this week, so that might be delayed. So it was supposed to be a busy, busy week with Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Now that's coming in July. And of course, that's still the 2021 Series 2 last year. Yes, we're at the uh, conference finals of the playoffs for the next season. We still haven't gotten the second half of the last year set. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, it says July. Anyways, I'm getting snippy here at the end of the video. Let me go ahead and wrap things on off. So I did like and subscribe cringe. I said channel members. So that's actually it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join us in the next one. Bye.